Alright, it's a lot easier to do this if you have the area excavated near where your filter is going to go. Here's the pipe, it's 4 inches. The uh, kind of filter I want to use wouldn't fit in a 4 inch pipe because it's about a quarter inch too wide. Um, so I got to empty out this partially, which means I got to get a bucket and uh, dispose of it properly. <laughs> It's better to wait till the tank is pumped, but uh, I want to pour concrete pretty soon. So, if I do about 20 buckets worth. It doesn't appear to be glued that well, actually, which is in my favor here. Oh, that's right. A lot of the time, uh, septic system installers skimp on the pipe, and they don't install Schedule 40 pipe. So sometimes when concrete trucks run over them, these weaker pipes in the ground, they, uh, they burst. So that's something to be concerned about if you're installing a septic system. All right, I've got two different finish hammers, not the waffle kind, and a bunch of chisels. I'm just gonna try to chisel it off here. Looks like they didn't do the world's greatest attachment job. It looks like they really didn't uh, attach it. It's stuck on there somehow, but. Well, I'll keep going. Uh, I'm gonna get the camera out of the way. You'd think it took no time at all because the neighbors are still playing the same song, right? But I think it's been about 15 minutes in total of chiseling. And I used the flat side against the pipe that goes through the tank and the wedge kind of just pries apart the fitting. Now the PVC elbow that they used was really brittle compared to the other pipe, which is really flexible. So that helped me a lot in my case. Uh, and on the bottom, you just kind of you eyeball it and then you feel. You feel the pipe to make sure you got everything. You, you can't really tell by looking at it very well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test fit that. Okay, it's a four inch coupler. And it totally doesn't fit. It's too big. So what we got is a janky ass pipe diameter, unfortunately. So this is PVC water pipe, but this fitting at least might be some sort of expanded PVC. SDR, I guess that's drain waste 35. Yeah, so the, I cut off, this is the bell end of one of the sticks. I cut it off here, and this should fit around, after I chisel out the inner pipe right here, this should fit around that pipe that's inside the septic tank. So I gotta chisel, I gotta slice it here, cut it a few times inside, and then chisel out the inside.
<laughs> okay, now I need to clean the fuck out of this and that pipe that's inside the septic tank. I need to clean both sides of this and then I need to dry them off. You want to test fit everything before you try to put a glue on everything because glue is the point of no return. So it does it does fit around the pipe inside the tank adequately. Although I'm going to sand down that pipe a little bit to make it not so rough, which makes it kind of tough. And this has a relatively loose fit in here. And it'll be a lot easier to install these two fittings first and then wait for them about five minutes to dry. And then, uh, then I'll put this in the tank. It's especially important. Well, when you do the PVC, you want to put the primer on and practically immediately after, afterward, primer on both pieces. Let the excess drip inside, which, you know, isn't super perfect practices, but not too bad. So I'm putting this primer on just kind of as quick as possible. Alright. Now, same thing with the glue. Hopefully while it's still all wet, it's really better to have a bigger, bigger brush and a bigger bottle for doing the 4-inch pipe. Plenty of glue to fill these gaps, because there's a pretty loose fit here. Not like shaking loose, but loose enough. Fuck. Okay, let's see if it jams together. It does, no problems. You can just hold it in for a little while. Oh, I'm supposed to twist it around a little bit. And it's still a little wet, so fortunately. <sighs> fortunately, I wasn't screwed there. It the sometimes, especially with um, heavier duty pipe, I don't I've never used this thin shit before. But sometimes it does want to push out of the socket. So better safe than sorry, hold it in. Not really critical here, but you don't want any leaks, but it's not like, you know, 75 PSI. It's pretty much zero PSI. So, yeah, not that critical. Super strong bond here. Just need it waterproof. All right, definitely going to let that sit a few minutes. You don't want to put it on so far that you can't get the filter in and out. So this is the six inch filter, which is actually about six and a quarter inch. It won't fit into six inch PVC proper. It's got a little arrow on it, which tells you which direction the flow goes. Oh, that PVC glue really burns your skin if you just leave it on there. Holy crap. Alright. I guess that took about an hour and a half. Could have taken a lot less if it was just regular pipe. Ah. <sighs>